machining a drum. Remove the rotor cutter assembly. Clean the mounting surface. Loosely mount the drum toolbar. Mount a proper sized backing plate onto the hubless adapter. Mount the drum onto the spindle. Mount the centering cone. Mount the cup with built-in spring. The spring-loaded cup and backing plate provide a support for the thin wall of the drum. This adds stability to this area. There is less tendency to chatter during machining resulting in a better cut. Mount the locking nut. Firmly tighten it with a spanner wrench. Mount the silencer band. This eliminates drum vibrations during machining. Rotate the spindle feed hand wheel until the cutters clear the inside edge of the drum. Position the toolbar using the cutter head hand wheel. Firmly tighten the toolbar into position. Turn on the spindle motor. Zero the cross feed hand wheel. Bring your cutter back into the drum edge until it just touches. In feed the cutter head using the cross feed hand wheel. Tighten knob to lock cross feed in place. Set your feed speed. Switch the selector switch to the drum feed position. Lock the spindle hand wheel. And begin machining the drum. When complete, move selector switch to neutral. Turn the spindle motor off. Back out the cutter head. Check the machine surface. Loosen the nut with a spanner wrench. Remove the nut. Remove the cup. Remove the centering cone. Remove the silencer band. Remove the drum.